Since centuries, our treatment strategy remains suboptimal. We go to the doctor if we feel sick, and the doctor diagnoses the disease and prescribes a couple of pills based on the body weight. This is very poor therapy because diagnosis is always too late. We're already sick, and the dosing precision based on body weight is very poor also. This is why we're working on the treatment strategy of the future, which is human designer cells, human cells that we engineer to precisely sense the disease signal in peripheral circulation. They process this information and then produce, secrete, and systemically disseminate a particular drug at the right time and the right dose. We wanted to develop this a bit further. We wanted to have control over drug production by our mind. So if the body feels the symptoms, if we feel the symptoms, we just think and then express the drug at the right time and the right dose. So we eventually learn to think therapeutic. Having control of mind over matter is a very old dream of mankind, as shown here by Yoda taking out the X-wing fighter of Luke Skywalker out of the swamp. No matter what we do with our brain, we essentially produce electricity, which we can record, which we can process, and which we can use to switch on a lamp in a science called optogenetics, the science to program the behavior of human cells by shining light on them. We devised such an optogenetic device with near-infrared light which illuminates the cells and programs them to produce a particular drug at the right time and the right dose. The longer we illuminate those cells, the more drug they produce, so we can finely tune the drug production and eventually the drug levels in circulation. We could also simply switch off the light and so drug production goes down again. And by the interplay of switching on the light and switching off the light, we can switch off drug production or we can switch it on. We can not only precisely dose drug production, but we can also adapt it to the dynamics of the disease. How do we link this to mind control gene expression? We equip the subject with a headset and so record the brain activities by an encephalogram which we use to program a controller that switches on the near-infrared light which illuminates the human cells and so triggers their drug production to a precise uh, dose. But we wanted also to fine-tune drug production in a living system. So if you think therapeutic, record the brain activities, we switch on the lamp inside an animal, and so fine-tune the levels of the drug in a living animal and in its bloodstream. The components we need for that is a field generator which powers up the near-infrared implant. It's much like charging your toothbrush in the morning by putting it into the stand. They light up the near-infrared light, which illuminates the cells in the cell culture chamber. They produce the drug, and then the implant is placed under the skin of the animal. We see here the implant in bigger detail with its sealed electronics, the near-infrared LED switched on, illuminating the cells in the cell culture chamber where the cells produce the drug, which then diffuses out of the implant into the bloodstream through the semi-permeable membranes. Now eventually we have all the components ready so the subject with its headset we can record uh, the brain activities, the encephalogram, then program the controller which powers up, uh, switches on the field generator that powers up and controls the uh, wireless powered near-infrared implant that is placed under the skin. So if we ask the subject to adopt very special mental activities such as to concentrate and focus or meditate and relax, we record specific brain activities that are then used to program the level of the drug in the animal to a precise level completely remotely. We're getting smaller with this technology, so this is the latest generation implant powered by a smartphone battery under the hand here. This is an energy source we carry along with us every day. Eventually, we hope we're getting this smaller so we can program and power it up by the battery of a wristwatch. So eventually, we go towards a world of therapeutic thinking that we can intentionally control transgene expression in our body. We will also learn how to detect brain activities associated with chronic pain and epilepsy or record pathological 
neurologic brain activities which are related to neurodegenerative disorders such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. So we really learn how to think therapeutic. Thank you very much.